Well, if you're trying to decide whether to go for a morning jog, it's not the best conditions, but this should spur you on. Matt Eckford is running 800 k's in eight days across eight states. That's all to raise money for children's hospitals around the country. Well, Matt joins us now from Hale School, where he's been running since 3 a.m. Matt, I thought it was tough getting up this morning, but you've been running all that time. Thanks so much for joining me and taking a rest from your jogging. Why have you decided to do this? Good question, Livy. Well, I, uh, I volunteer in Brisbane's Children's Hospital, so I get to see firsthand where money raised from the public goes to helping our sick kids. And I think, realistically, there's very few people in Australia whose lives haven't been or won't be at some point touched by our Children's Hospital. So, Case for Kids Australia is my way of making a contribution, raising as much money as possible and helping as many kids as possible. Matt, this is an extraordinary distance. How have you trained for such a gruelling challenge? It's been a two and a half year uh, body transformation. I wasn't a runner before this. Before this, I'd sort of five, ten kilometres was my longest distance. So it's been a two and a half year process of, uh, of training, uh, doing a few events in the process to gauge what was working, what wasn't working with my nutrition, uh, my recovery and my training schedule. I uh, enlisted a coach, which has been fantastic because I, I didn't, as I said, wasn't a runner. I didn't really know how to do these sort of longer distances over multiple days. So it's been a process, uh, but it, yeah, it's all paying off now. So just a casual jog for a Sunday. You ran 100 k's in Darwin yesterday. How's the body and the feet holding up? It's uh, not too bad. All the, uh, all the uh, ovals that we're running around are grass, so the impact on the joints is a little bit softer, but you have to work a little bit harder than running on a harder surface. Um, it was a little bit cooler. We were blessed with a cooler day in Darwin yesterday. We were expecting much hotter temperatures, so it was nice. And today we're uh, getting a little bit more wind and, uh, and rain than we were inspecting, but uh, it's, yeah, the body's holding up pretty good. You know, it's only day two. We've still got a long way to go. Probably uh, by the fifth, sixth, seventh day, There'll be sleep deprivation, there'll be uh, you know, mental fatigue and, and certainly physical fatigue creeping in as well. It's all for a wonderful cause. Matt, how much money have you raised so far? The goal is to raise 100000 uh, 20000 for each of our major kids' hospitals around this country. We're at 20000 uh, so far and really gaining momentum over the last couple of weeks. So I really appreciate the people who supported the, uh, the event so far and hopefully we can get to that uh, 100000 total by the end of the week. Now, are you regretting such a, a physical way of raising money? Would you do it again? Uh, would I do it again? Well, it's probably a good question to ask when I get to about day seven or eight. Uh, day two, so far, the body's still feeling pretty good. Um, I think in this day and age where there's a lot of people looking to raise money and a lot of charities out there, you have to do something unique and different. And that's why I chose Case for Kids Australia and, and this type of, uh, I suppose, gruelling task because I wanted it to stand out catch people's attention to give it the best chance of, of reaching our fundraising goal. Matt, you're doing a remarkable job. Good luck and look after those blisters. Thank you very much. Much appreciated.